everyone. My name is Ashley. So this is not like for a very complex systems. You don't have to buy equipment. You just use the camera, or webcam, or even the webcam on your own laptop. Or if you just try like use webcam as a security camera there will be just so many tools and you don't know which one to choose there are so many and many and many so in this web uh, so the first one that i pick is camera ftp so this is only for windows but still it is free and you can use it um, i will tell you my personal pick the first or the top one it's just the best because you know these have limitations you know it's only for windows and if if you go down you know you would see that the website is a little oldish um, but still you know it has some public cams you can watch and you there's also a youtube video it explains how to use it but simple as downloading the software and just using it so the second one is Contaware or contact cam. So this is also if, if you just open this photo, it's also a little oldish. Like it gives you a vibe of old uh, 98 Windows. I don't know if you remember, but here it is. It has even though it looks very simple, it has some good features. For example, there are lots of settings for you, and also you can. Uh, use multiple cameras you can view multiple cameras but the problem here is that these are not webcams these are your uh, ip cameras because you know you can also you can you can just have one usb camera on your web on your uh, laptop you can also add more with usb but basically you know there's a limit to your usb so uh, it supports ip camera and that's a good thing and here's a demo it restores the videos it's very good but the problem is that it is also only for windows so here is the la latest version is from 2022 so the problem here also is that you know it's uh it doesn't have active development it's a little old not very nice and you probably are going to have some problem you know if you have some problems you cannot just go and tell them in some forum and they will fix it right away it's very slow uh yeah very slow and it is also interesting that the look is for windows xp but it says it only supports from windows 7 up to 11. okay um and also there's one thing to note is that this is a software, yes, it is a file, executable file, but it also takes lots of RAM because it creates a web server for you with PHP 8, which is which is a very like recent PHP version. And the next one is Yacam. And Yacam is well uh, the name is yet another webcam software. The site is not good. As you can see, there are lots of advertisement. And the look is, well, maybe not Windows 98, but Windows XP. So it can all see, uh, I mean, there are lots of good features, but it's still very old. And it only supports Windows. So the top one, it is the second one. This is my second choice, but it is not the top one. But it is the top one tool that you can download and install. So it is available for Windows, OS X, and Linux. So this is good. You And it is very complex. And you can use it even for maybe parkings or your condos. And it is good. You know, it supports lots of different cameras it's not just for webcams and this is a good point and also a negative point because maybe you just want to watch your webcam you don't want to install a very complex and very uh, memory using software so it has even you know like face detection you can enable face detection and things like that 
you know, we don't really want that. It's very complex for a simple use. But, you know, it is a very uh, good software. It is the second choice of mine. But if you are only looking to find, you know, a simple tool and that would help you with everything, this is it. This is the top tool. So it's called security-camera.live. It's a new one. It comes from a research group, a few PhD candidates. And I really like this software because it's not, you don't have to download anything. You just open it and you see this page. You allow camera and webcam. And it gives you what to do. You say, let's start. And you see your camera here. I, you know, I'm, I don't have a camera, so it shows blank. But basically, you have a motion sensor. It tells you how much motion it's sensing. It tells you camera status. It tells you if recording is off or on. And there are so many good things about this. First of all, settings are just here. It's very minimal settings. You just say, first of all, you can do like just uh, save a screenshot. You click it, it saves it. And then you can also start recording. And it says here, recording started manually. So why it says manual? Is there any other way? Yes, there is. You can enable start recording on motion. So every time, for example, it sees a minimum of 5% of change, it would start recording. You can disable, but it's a very good feature. And I'm just going to stop this. And then uh, you can also tell this software, this website, on how many minutes it should uh, you know, download. So here's the point. It doesn't send anything to any server. So this is a website, but you can just you can just open this website and you can disable your internet connection because it doesn't rely on any upstream. So you know you just need to load the site and everything works fine after that. It doesn't send any of the photos, any of the videos. And you can also share this. So this is the part, let's say my camera is Ashley's camera laptop. So I have this and then it has, you know, this link. So let's say I have a pet. Yeah, I have a pet. I have a bunny at house. So I have this bunny and I want to see that when I go to home, when I go to work, what does this do? Is it, is, you know, is my bunny say what it is doing? So I just copy this link. Yep, copy. It. And then I can put a pass, passcode if I'm worried that this link would be viewable by others. I don't think so. It's very, uh, you know, URL is very safe. It has, a, I think, an MD5 hash. But let's say if I have a passcode, I can just put one, two, or one, three, four passcode, and then I would just open this here. I would enter one, I think one, three, four passcode, and as you can see, the title is my name, and I just connect. It says, yeah, connect to, and show, and you can save the snapshot mode. So this is just like, I was amazed, like I didn't know if it was possible to do this with a website, but it is everything I need. The motion detection works very fine. I just open this site, I go to work, and when I come back, I see that it downloaded maybe around 10 files, and each file is around 2 to 10 megabytes based on the movement. So finally, I just have to just look at like 10 minutes of movements, like what happened in those 10 minutes. And the rest is just not needed. I can, if I need all stream downloaded, I can just manually start it and disable the motion. So that works fine too. You know, it's just great. And I thank the team that created this. I think this is wonderful. 
and you just don't have to do anything you don't have to install anything you can use this on mac on windows on any browser you have and also there is phones like you can use this on your phone too there's a problem with using phones i tried it the problem with phones is that you have to keep that browser open for phones so it doesn't work that way you know it's it's a limitation of browsers like you have to all keep open the browser when your phone goes off like when the screen is off you know the camera won't work i don't think at least it didn't work on my phone so here it is guys um there are five selections for me the top two that we can look again if you are looking for something complex something that would connect to ip cameras and lots of different cameras like you want to watch multiple cameras together and there are like IP cameras, etc., etc. This iSpy Connect is really good. Are we are using it at work for like security camera for actual security cameras. But if you are thinking about using it for your home, like for webcams or just two cameras, I think security camera dot life is much better, private, and you know you can also share and view it online. I said multiple cameras here. You can just open one with, for example, one tab, and then you can use another like Firefox or something else, and you can just come here and change. Okay, I okay, yeah, that's true. I only have one camera, but you can just come here and probably just change the camera. Oh yeah, I don't, oh yeah, yeah. So basically, if you have two cameras, you can just change the one for the other one. So yeah, that's it. Have fun. Uh